let God, that's what I'm hearing right now. Let go and let God. Trust in him. He's a good daddy. He ain't going to lie to you. I promise because he has never lied to me. And this is what I heard when I was in the shower this, the tonight, this, this afternoon. I heard the Lord say, as he started to show me where I came from, as he started to, to just bring back my, to my memories about being homeless, right before I met Jesus, he started to show me. He started to show me I was homeless and I didn't have a place to go. And I, didn't have, I had my father's clothes, man. I had my dad's clothes, which are too big. My dad's like six foot two. And he's about 240 pounds. I didn't even fit my father's clothes. I had my dad's boots, my dad's work boots. That's all I had. I had a bag. I was carrying it around in Memphis. I was living in a car that some girl allowed me to live in. And he started to show me where he's taking me. Yeah. And as my brother Caesar was saying tonight about God being good, yeah. he started to show me, he said, John, yeah. I'm a good daddy. Yeah. I'm taking you from there yeah. to where you're at today. Yeah. I have a house in Olive Branch, Mississippi that yeah. we bought about a year and a half ago, yeah. which we never thought we would ever own. I have a ministry that God has given me and blessed me with and put me in the place that he's put me in. To sit in front of you right now and tell you that he's a good daddy, that he will take care of you and whatever your need is, God says just to trust in him. That's what he wants us to do tonight. He wants us to trust in him. We want to, he wants us to lay it all out. Listen, some of you in this room, we say we trust God. We say we trust God. Yeah. Oh, but have we trusted him with everything? Yeah. And what I mean by that is I'm talking about laying it all down, yeah. man. Lord. I'm talking about not holding nothing back. Nothing. I'm talking about total abandonment, total se total surrender. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm moving. I'm sorry. I, I'm so, oh man, Jesus, hallelujah. hallelujah. I just sense Holy Spirit saying yeah. lay it down tonight. Listen, Jesus wants you to just place it in his hand. <laughs> Jesus is a good right now, Lord, He loves you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he'd have never died yeah, on the cross. Yeah. And he would have never taken the beating that he took. Yeah. If he didn't love you. Yeah. He loves you. Yeah. He wants to bless you yeah. beyond anything. Yeah, there's going to be hard times. Listen, it does rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Yes, yeah. it does. But the thing is, is that there's also the promises that are yes and amen. And that will never, never leave you or forsake you. That's what's so amazing about this daddy, Jesus. Yeah. This daddy, God. He says, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Yeah. That's what's so beautiful about God the Father. Is that he gives you that promise. And listen, the day that I gave my heart to Jesus Christ, I tangibly felt him at an altar. Literally wrap his arms around me. Because he knew I needed a daddy. He knew I needed a good father. He knew what I needed when I needed it. He knows what you need when you need it. Just let him tonight touch you. Lay your hands on your finances. Do something. Declare God's word over your children that says that me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Follow what the word of God says and just trust in him. Let him have it tonight. All of it. Don't hold anything back. Look, it is easy for us to sit back and just say, yeah, I love the Lord. Yeah, I'm a Christian. Yeah, I'm saved. But look, I'm telling you, it's a whole other thing to totally surrender everything and just give to him. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's so freeing, by the way. It's so amazing. It's so freeing to know that I can just say to my daddy, that you know what? Despite my circumstances, I know you're going to get me through it. Yeah. And have that trust with me, man. Uh, I mean, I could be three house payments behind. I can, yeah. I can be, I can, I, my car payment may be two car payments behind yeah. or three car payments. My electric bill may be due today or, yeah. or last month. But here's the thing. I know that I can trust him with it. I know that he's going to get it. Look at, I know he's faithful when I am not. I know he's faithful when I am not. Listen, I'm telling you, God wants to do something in somebody's life tonight. 
He knows your need. He knows where you're at. He knows your circumstances. He's saying tonight to you, look past those circumstances. Look past the circumstances and look to the cross. Look to the resurrection. Because God says, I am a supernatural God. I will provide. I heard the sister was singing tonight. And she was she was calling out the names of God. Yeah. Listen, God is our provider. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Listen, Jesus is amazing. Yeah. He's your provider. Listen, yeah. he's a good daddy. Good daddies provide for their yeah. children. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm sorry, I got my preach out, man. That's what's going on. I'm, just, I'm looking forward to some supernatural yeah. stuff. I'm looking forward to something amazing God's gonna do tonight. I said. I just, I believe tonight that Jesus wants to heal somebody's body tonight. I believe tonight that Jesus wants to just set you free. I'm telling you, there's a heaviness. Right now, there's just such a heaviness. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Man, I don't normally cry like that, man, but I'm telling you, Jesus is doing something tonight. That somebody just needs him right now to just begin to touch him, to begin to touch you right now in Jesus' name. Man, come on, Father. Yes. We thank you, Jesus. Yes. We love you so much. Yes. Father, tonight, those that are at home watching God, those that are here tonight, Jesus, yes. we just want to lay it all down before you, God, and just say, come, Holy Spirit, move oh, yes. like you've never moved before, Jesus. Yes. Listen, I hear, I hear the Lord saying, if you've got a mountain in your oh, life, yeah. come on, Jesus. Yes. He says, if you've got a mountain, he wants you to speak to that yeah. mountain. Come on, Jesus. And he wants you to speak yes, to that mountain. Right and he says he wants you to tell it to go to the sea. Yes, because that's what his word yes. says. If you speak to a mountain, yes. that mountain will get up literally and go yes, into the yes, sea. Right so, God, we just do that right now. We speak to our mountains. Yes, we say to those mountains in Jesus' name, we declare that, God, your promises are yes and amen. We declare tonight that Jesus, any mountain that stands in our way, God, right now in Jesus' name, we say, Holy Spirit, you are released right now in Jesus' name. In every circumstance, in Jesus' name, or every mountain, Father, that you would just begin to remove it in Jesus' name. And then, Father, I thank you for it. Oh, I thank you, Father, for that right there, Jesus. I thank you for those mountains that are coming down right now. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, for the testimonies, the overwhelming testimonies. They're about to begin to pour in right now. And PBS, Lord Jesus, that they're beginning to pour out right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for those testimonies. Come on. Come on, somebody praise him. Come on, somebody praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Man. signal can be heard. Worlds known and unknown, worlds discovered, and worlds undiscovered. Amen. 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 And worlds to be discovered. Amen. 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 Thank God. Let's give the God man a hand. Amen. God bless you tonight. We want to thank God for you. Amen. Let's give him another hand and then just let him prepare to take the pulpit in just a minute. We want to say to you, you're listening to the BBS Gospel Net broadcast. If this telecast has been a blessing to you, those of you who are listening by way of internet, uh, Facebook, or whatever medium that you have, we want to let you know that we appreciate you tuning us in. And we want to tell you tonight that you can too can sow into this ministry. Amen. Freely we have given, and freely you can give, and freely we will receive. Yes. Our address, BBS Gospel Net, 515 South 9th Street, West Memphis, Arkansas, 
72301 BBS Gospel Net 515 South Main Street West Memphis, Arkansas If you would like to sow into this ministry Amen Since our inception Amen We're not like others We don't have uh, a telephone that we come on and we ask you to so into the ministry. We don't ask people to come in to help us to raise money, amen, for this ministry, amen. The Lord has given us a vision, but we also know that when you sow into and when you give, God blesses you in return. And we would not want you to miss your blessing by not sowing into this ministry. Amen. And so we're asking you, those that are out there, as the Lord lays on your heart, amen, because every price then is a cheerful giver. Amen. And when you learn to give, you will know that you're fulfilling the law of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. God gave. Yes. God gave the best that he had. When he gave his darling son, Jesus. Jesus gave the best that he had yeah. when he gave his life for all of us yeah. to be able to enjoy a telecast like this one tonight. And so we're going to ask those of you that are here as well, if you would so into this ministry on tonight. Amen. God loveth the cheerful giver. Amen. amen. And when we uh, come back, amen, we will be ready, amen, yes. for the uh, culminating portion of this service on tonight. Amen. 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 Let's thank God. Amen. 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 If you believe in giving, won't you give the Lord a hand, clap of praise, amen, all over the building. 